In this video, we will scrape iPhone related data from an e-commerce website, Flipkart. The link of which is given in description. Click on the link of the website to reach the home page. Then type iPhone 14 Pro in the search box and press enter key to reach first of the three pages from where data is to be scrapped. On the first page, 24 models of iPhone are given and a total of 56 iPhones on all three pages. To keep the video shorter, we will extract data relating to model name, price, and warranty only. If you need, you can extract all data. Now click on Data Miner icon. Data Miner dialog box will open. Under Public Recipes tab, there are recipes created by other people and made public. My Recipes tab has recipes created by us. Pin tab has the recipes created and pinned by us. This tab allows us to download our previously scrapped data. Since we want to create a new recipe, click on this pencil icon. Recipe Creator dialog box will open, which has many tab. Under tab 1, there is some introductory information, which may be skipped for the time being. Click on tab 2 to choose the type of recipe. Since we want data from product listing page only, leave the first radio button selected. Let us place the web page and data miner windows side by side to facilitate our work. Tab 3 is optional and will be dealt with in a future video. Tab 4 relates to setting rows of data to scrape which is relevant to this video. All or some of the data of each product may become part of a row. Hence row 1 will include the data of the first product. Similarly row 2 will contain the data of the second product. In this manner, all the rows will be formed. Now click on the Easy Row Finder tab. Hover the cursor over any corner of the container of the first product, ensuring that whole data is highlighted and press the key, with numeric value 1, on the top row of numbers, on the keyboard. The container will be selected, with a broken red line. Now hover the cursor, over any corner, of the second product. When all product items, are fully highlighted. Hit the numeric value 2, on the keyboard. This action will bring about, the selection of, not only the second product, but also that of, other 22 products as well. A message will be received, 24 rows found. Since this number matches, with total number of products, on the web page, hit the Confirm tab. Click on Tab 5. Then hit Add New Column tab. Type Model Name, in the Columns box. Type box is set, as Scrape, by default. Don't change it. Hit Easy Column Finder tab. Now hover cursor over the model name of the first product. When model name is fully highlighted, press C key on the keyboard. The model name will be selected with purple color broken line. In the Data Miner window, you will get the message, Great! You found your item. If the column name given under the message matches with the model name given in the product listing page, Hit the Confirm button. Press this tab to preview the model names of 24 products. Close this window. Procedure for setting the data for price and warranty columns is the same as it is for model name. Click on Add New Column. In place of Column 2, type Price. Click on Easy Column Finder. Now hover cursor over the price of first product. When price is highlighted, hit the C key. The price amount on the web page will be selected with purple color broken line. Since the price amount in data miner window matches with the price amount on the web page, click on Confirm tab. Click on Preview tab to confirm that 24 items have been selected. Close it. Once again, click on Add New Column. Type column name as warranty. 
Click on Easy Column Finder. Hover cursor over Warranty Details, a first product. Press C key. Warranty details will be selected. You will receive a message, in the Data Miner window, that five similar items have been found. And you need to select right one from them. Since last one is the same, as given on the web page. Select its radio button. Now you will receive a message, great, you found your item. Since both of these items match, hit Confirm tab. Then press Preview tab to ensure, that all 24 items are being shown, in the Preview window. Now close this window. Because not only do we want, to scrape the first product listing page, but also other two pages as well. Hence we need to set navigation, or next page automation. For doing so, click on 6th tab. Then on Easy Nav Finder. Now you need to find the link, that usually takes you to the next page. In most cases it is next button, or similar to which have been shown, on the screen. Scroll down to the bottom of the web page. Hover over next button. When it is highlighted, press N key on keyboard. Next button will be selected. And a message will be received, in data miner window, you found this link. Under the message is given the link, as next. Even though, the next button shown in data miner, matches with that of given in the web page, we must still test it, by clicking on this tab. After clicking the tab, scroll down the web page. You will notice that, the page number 1, has changed to page 2. Which means the next tab is working properly. Now hit the confirm button. Skip the tab 7, and click the tab 8. Give a suitable name to the recipe, such as Flipkart underscore iPhone 14 Pro. Hit Save button to save unsaved changes. Click on, Scrape in Data Miner tab. A new window will open, which shows the just created recipe, in the middle pane. The right side pane provides the preview, of the first web page. And informs that, this recipe will scrape 24 rows, and 3 columns. You will notice that, New Recipe Radio button is selected by default. If you hit Scrape tab now, only first page will be scrapped. Since we want to scrape, all of the three pages. Select Next Page Automation Radio button. By default, Scrape tab is set to extract 10 pages. Since we want to scrape three pages, change it to three pages in this box. Now the Scrape tab will be reset, to extract three pages. Click this tab to start scrapping. You can see the status of the number of scrapped rows here. Final number of scrapped rows, will also be shown here. When all 56 rows are scrapped. Click on the download button. You will be offered three download options, for the scrapped data. Either in the form of a CSV file or an Excel file. Alternatively, you can copy it to the clipboard. Click on the last option. You will receive the message, copy to clipboard. Now open the Excel worksheet. Put cursor in the cell A1. Right click in the cell A1 and hit the paste icon. Scrap data will fill the worksheet. With the columns of model name, price and warranty. And 57 rows of scrap data, including one row for column headers.